What is going on? Welcome to episode 110 of the Nintendo Powercast. I'm your host, N64 Josh, on this NPC Mini. The music you just heard was from On Being Human. You can check them out on Spotify and YouTube. Remember, this is an unofficial Nintendo podcast. If you would like to get yourself a free book from Audible, you can go to audibletrial.com slash NPC. There you can choose from so many great books like, I don't know, Ready Player One, Armada, uh, Super Mario, How Nintendo Conquered America. All great choices. That's audibletrial.com slash NPC. The chair I'm sitting in is from OP Seat. They're awesome gaming chairs. If you go to n64josh.com slash OP Seat, you will automatically save $10 at checkout by using that link. You can check out their Master Series and Grandmaster Series. All chairs are currently $50 off, so you end up with a total savings of $60 off your purchase. They have a summer sale going on. I'm not sure how long it's going to last, so don't uh, don't wait too long. That's n64josh.com slash OP Seat. Let's get to the announcements. Hey! Listen. All right, we do the show live, twitch.tv slash n64josh, 6 p.m. on Tuesdays and Thursdays. You know, sometimes we're late, sometimes we're not. It's all good. We're having a, we're having a good time just chatting in chat right now. So um, let's see. Things that are coming up. Well, uh, I'm going to announce this. I didn't plan on doing this. I kind of just started it in a, on a whim, and now it's 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 going to happen. So I have decided because I've had so many people, uh, asking me for help with like, like starting a podcast, starting streaming, that kind of stuff that I'm like, you know what, I'm going to put all of this information into a short little, uh, book. And so I took a, just a brief break from my current book to knock this one out. So I have this gaming podcast book coming out very soon. Um, hopefully within the week, actually. And uh, so if you're interested in starting your own show, this is going to have everything you need. So that's going to be coming very, very soon. So stay tuned to, uh, you know, the podcast website, that kind of stuff for more info. Tomorrow morning, we are going to be looking at uh, a game called 20XX. It looks a lot like Mega Man, uh, a lot like Mega Man X, actually. Like it... uh, Looks an awful lot like it. So um, it's a roguelite. It's pretty good. It's pretty good so far. So I've only played just a few minutes. I really enjoyed what I did play, and we are going to uh, take a little little more of a deep dive into it tomorrow. That happens at uh, 6 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, twitch.tv slash n64josh. Okay, I am going to let you guys know I can't stream this yet, but I will be playing Void Space Racing uh, over the weekend, we'll talk about it next Tuesday, and uh, I do want to give you guys a heads up, starting next week, on Thursday, I'm going on vacation for 10 days, so I will still be doing live streams, I will still be uploading podcasts, but they're going to be a little different, I'm not going to have any sound effects, I'm not sure that the podcast will be live, but you will still be getting um, podcasts in your podcast feeds, but the streams are going to be strictly IRL and Instagram. So if you want to see what I'm up to and what Game Boy game I'm currently playing, make sure you're following me on Instagram. So that's going to be happening next week. So there won't be like a first look, um, that kind of stuff. I just want to give you guys a heads up. So not it's starting. I'm leaving next Thursday next Thursday. So Tuesday, we have a regular show. Stealth is actually going to come join us again. We're going to talk Octopath and uh, some Smash Bros. So it should be it should be a good time. All right. As far as games that are coming out, we got Captain Toad's Treasure Tracker is releasing tomorrow or tonight at like 9 p.m. Pacific if you're doing digital. Uh, same with Octopath Traveler. And I know a lot of people have been playing that. They are excited about it. And uh, some reviews have been going up, and so far it's looking like it's a pretty good game. So um, make sure if you're uh, if you're a fan of of old school JRPGs, make sure to check out Octopath Traveler. And if you like creative Nintendo puzzle games, then make sure to check out Captain Toad's Treasure Tracker. Let's see here. Uh, the Switch games that are on sale, we have a whole lot of games. whole lot of games on sale. 
You guys ready? Let's jump into this thing here. We got FIFA 18, 1979. And then we also have 1979 Revolution Black Friday. This is a pre-purchase, but you get it for a, a handful of these. Oh, there's what I'm seeing wrong. No, 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 no. Okay. I'm, it's, their, their website's a little bit confusing, but we're gonna we're gonna figure it out right now. There's a handful of games that you can pre-order right now, pre-purchase that are all on sale. So some of these games that I'm going to mention aren't out yet, but you can pre-download them. Okay, so there you go. 1979 Revolution Black Friday releases August 2nd, 2018. It's 9:49 right now. Final Light: The Prison that's coming out July 27th. Uh, VSR, that's Void Space Racing, that's July 20th. And Vertical Strike Challenge releases July 18th. Okay. Uh, Ink is on sale now, 4.49. Die for Valhalla, 9.95. Legendary 11, Immortal Redneck. I'm just going to go through the rest of the list here. If there's something really worth noting, I will stop. But Timberman versus Bouncy Bob. 99 cents. Oh, Bouncy Pop. Uh, Agatha Knife. Uh, Goatia? I'm not sure if I said that right, but it's half off right now. Uh, Sparkle Zero. The Way Remastered. Check this one out. Don't miss this one. It is an excellent indie title that I cannot recommend enough. I love the artwork. Love the sound. Love the story right away. Really good stuff. It's 1049 right now. Don't miss that one. Um, Gekido Kitaro's Revenge, No Thing, Super Toy Cars, Paper Wars, Cannon Fodder Devastated, looks like it's half off, Super Rolla and the Lost Burgers, I say that one almost every week and I, I, the name makes me laugh every time, uh, Aegis Defenders, Frederick 2, Evil Strikes Back is 49 cents, I don't, they're trying to give these games away, I'm not sure what's up with that, uh, Cubic is $1.24, Energy Balance is $2.09. Energy Invasion. Grand Prix Rock and Roll Racing is $5.99. Energy Cycle, which has like a lightning cat for the picture, is $2.09. The Coma Recut. The next... Uh... <laughs> Penelope, right? But, but... You guys ever... You guys ever... Little, little rabbit trail real quick. I had a friend who was reading, <laughs> reading a book about Penelope, but he said Penelope the entire time and everybody could hear him while he was reading to uh, like his niece or something. Yeah. He never lived that one down. Um, Red game without a great name is a dollar 49 slain back from hell is six seventy nine from 1999. So there's a, there's a deal there. Vostok Inc pretty fun game they do have a demo if you want to check it out that's on sale right now letter quest remastered green game time swapper is $1.49 uh, talomir 349 cartoon network battle crashers $14.99 from, from $39.99 monster jam crush it $14.99 still don't think it's worth it uh, astro bears at every hate zero's favorite Astro Bears 299 Tower of Babel is currently 499 Robonauts and Slime Sand so there are your deals of the week right there there's a few gems on there that are on sale that I would recommend checking out they uh they're pretty pretty good so rjs is saying that him and his son laugh their butts off playing astro bears that it's pretty fun so um so there you go and somebody else snake eyes in chat says he used to say penelope like antelope or penelope like like antelope <laughs> oh that's funny i love it i love it okay well hey let's uh let's get to the news shall we All right. Well, I woke up this morning, and the first thing I see is that there is a big old patch for Fortnite. Fort the season pass or season five is is upon us, 
and they have a ton, a ton of stuff they did. Most notably for the Switch, we now have motion controls. I haven't had a chance to go hands-on with it yet. Uh, I haven't even heard if, if anybody has liked it or anything like that. But if you are a Splatoon player, or maybe you were uh, used to playing, or maybe you got used to playing Doom on the Switch with motion controls, hey, here's motion controls. RJSSA and Patch is pretty buggy on the Switch, so may have uh, may have a little bit... Uh, it, we may need another patch just for the last patch, you know, we uh, we may need another patch. So but motion controls have been added so much more. I'm going to have I'll have a link to the patch notes in the show notes. If you uh, if you want to be able to check all this stuff out on your own. One of the things that they've added is an all terrain cart. Now, you guys tell me, but I think this sounds like uh, I think this sounds like they took a little page out of Mario Kart. Power slide into battle with this all-terrain cart. If you scroll down here and you find out about this cart, let's see, where is it at here? Here we go. The all-terrain cart, ATK. Um, the all-new all-terrain cart has room for your entire squad. Get a speed boost after drifting. Hmm, Mario Kart much? The roof acts as a bounce pad. Work together as a... Uh, as a rear passengers to leap over obstacles with the all terrain uh, with the all terrain cart lean back and release at the same time for higher jumps so uh, and he says Mario Kart quadruple dash <laughs> yeah quadruple dash there you go <laughs> RGS says yes it feels exactly like Mario Kart um, even as multiple spark levels well there you go there you go um Moving right along here, we also so they have some pictures, right? They show the cart, and it looks like a like a like a souped up golf cart, right? Next, it says rifts. Test your courage and step through a rift. You're in for a wild ride. So, I'm again unsure what this does. I'm I'm actually going to jump into Fortnite. I hear the the uh, servers are down, but if if they get them, they get them back up. I plan on playing right after this uh, this podcast, so I can I can check some of this stuff out. But uh, uh, I, I mean, if I had to make a guess, I'm guessing you're stepping through one of these things, and maybe it teleports you to another spot on the map. So I'm not sure. Uh, if you're playing Save the World, which you're not playing that on Switch, I don't believe. All we have is Battle Royale. Um, it now has a, like a Wild West theme, so. Uh, and RGS is saying the rift teleports you up into the air. Okay, well that's kind of cool then. That gives you the uh, the ability to pull your glider and and get to a new location. So that's uh, that's nice. There are tons and tons of of different things they've they've patched, or nerfed, or you know worked on. Shotguns will now indicate how many pellets hit, visible with a reticle. Um, adjusted shotgun spread patterns to be consistent with no random variation. Heavy shotgun now fires 10 pellet pellets rather than 5. Maximum damage for heavy shotgun remains unchanged. After firing a shotgun, another shotgun cannot be fired for a very short time. Now, I already know that my son is not going to be very happy about this because he likes to do what's called double pump, where you uh, you have two uh, pump shotguns and you fire one and switch to the next one and fire that. That's not going to be happening anymore. Does that mean that uh, maybe the tactical shotgun is going to be better now because you can fire it faster? We'll have to find out to find out what the you know how the meta is going to change with this game um reduced hunting rifle aim assist when targeting uh to match that of other sniper rifles with projectile bullets lowered the vehicle knockback strength on grenade sticky uh grenade grenade launcher and rocket launcher uh, let's see, silence SMG environmental damage now correctly matches player damage. Change the damage drop-off profile for the suppressed SMG to be the same as other SMGs. Fall-off starts as 24 meters from 28. Damage reduced 80 to 35 meters from 85% at 47.5 meters. Um, 
anyway, there's there's all kinds of stuff there. They updated the map. You have uh, the new desert area, Paradise Palms. Um, you have uh, looks like new location, Lazy Link. Um, a few unnamed um, points of interest have also appeared across the island, and the mini map has been updated. So, and then they go on to all kinds of different bug fixes, um, adding the the motion controls to the switch. This is kind of this is pretty good right here for for people like me that maybe don't play this game like like religiously. Um, you. It looks like, from my understanding, I want to make sure I get this right, but um, from, from my understanding, it looks like if you don't complete the season pass with within the time frame, you still may be able to unlock the stuff that's in it. Let me see. I'm just going to read here. It says, weekly challenges are now split into two sections, free and battle pass. The first three challenges will be available for free, while the last four are only available in your own battle pass. The threshold to unlock the weekly challenges will remain at four. There was... And I, but I, I'm, I'm looking over the notes here. And I and I may be wrong. I was I was actually talking with my coworker today, who's way into Fortnite, and he was like, "Yeah, so you don't have to finish within the time frame." And I was like, "Okay, I mean, all right." And glancing over the notes, it seemed like that might kind of be the case. But um, here we go. Starting in season five, progressive challenges will no longer be restricted to a single season. You can now complete progressive challenges at your own pace. So maybe people are taking that, but I, I would imagine if you don't finish up your, uh, hit your tier 100 before the, the season ends, that you're not going to be unlocking that gear. That would be my guess. So, uh, I'll look into it further because I want to, I want to get some clarification on exactly what that means and, and what the progressive challenges are and that kind of stuff. So, um, let's just chalk that one up for, we'll find out soon. Sound good. Okay. Um, other than that, there's not, nothing really worth, uh, you know, really worth noting. You can go and check out. I mean, they've got stuff to the audio, UI, art animation, that kind of thing. So moving right along in a recent video, uh, Shinya Takahashi says there is more updates in store for Mario Kart 8 Deluxe on the Switch. So we obviously just saw the Labo update. We don't know. I mean, maybe there's going to be more Labo integration into Mario Kart. Maybe there's going to be, uh, I mean, maybe we'll get some, possibly some free DLC, maybe some paid DLC. We don't really know what this means other than it says there's more updates in store for Mario Kart 8. The thing that is most important to me with Mario Kart 8 is that they get rid of the cheaters. And he just put it in the chat. Cheating prevention. There is something going on. If look, if you if if you know what's going on, because I've spent a little time Googling and trying to trying to figure this out. But I have close to 9,000 points in Mario Kart, and I can get first place in a room full of people that are sitting at a thousand and I get six points, maybe seven if I'm lucky, right? For getting first place. Somebody else joins that has, let's say 50,000 points and they will pull off 16 points with that same room when they get first. So something is going on there. Something, there's something up and it really kind of like just takes the fun out of it for me. And uh, so, Hopefully they'll take a little closer look at that. We're going to talk a little talk a little bit more about some cheating here in, 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 in just a minute. But I'm excited. I love Mario Kart. I in in other Mario Kart news, apparently they they filmed some Mario Kart tournament today. Everything I could find about it, there wasn't much more to it than that. We may end up seeing some of this footage, but they were in California. I I think like. I want to say it was like Paramount or something like that. One of one of these studios, and 
there are people dressed up like toads, like in their, their, uh, like the pit crew. <laughs> and there was a tournament going on. Not really any more info other than that. That's all, that's all we kind of know at this point. So, um, but Hey, Mario Kart in the news is a good thing. As far as I'm concerned, like, like let's, uh, let's get more Mario Kart stuff going. Um, <laughs> Nightcrawler in the chat saying we need 250 CC. What? 250 CC? It'd be crazy. It'd be so fast. I have seen on YouTube somebody hacked it and did 900 CC. So if you want to see something crazy, go uh, go find that YouTube video because they are flying. They are going so quick. So quick. So, uh, Mario Kart in the news. I'm loving it. Another, uh, another subject that's near and dear to my heart. Amiibo. That's right. Ridley. Inkling Girl and Wolf will be launching with Super uh, Smash Bros. Ultimate. And Wolf looks super cool. I'm not going to lie. He looks really, really cool. Um, I'm definitely excited to get my hands on these and leave them in their case. Because that's where Amiibo belong is in their, their plastic and cardboard home. I don't care what you say. And uh, <laughs> no, they're looking really good. They are retailing for... Uh, 1599, I believe. And they are going to, so here's the verbiage was a little bit strange. I, I think initially we thought they were going to be releasing all of the original smash amiibo, but from the verbiage, uh, from the Nintendo versus tweet, it says most, most of the super smash bros, uh, original, um, amiibo. So Maybe not all of them. Maybe not all of them. That does sting a little bit for me because uh, <laughs> because I've spent more money than I'd like to talk about on on <laughs> some of those amiibo. But hey, gotta have them all, right? <laughs> gotta have them all. Uh, speaking of amiibo, Pearl and Marina are coming out tomorrow. If you are uh, collecting the uh, Splatoon amiibo or you just like to get get new amiibo, whatever, those will be available tomorrow. And uh, so there you go. Make sure you uh, make sure you don't miss it. Lastly, for news here, this was this is from a Reddit post and a hacker got into the Splatoon leaderboards and to basically send a message to Nintendo. And he got onto Reddit and he's like, look, I know that doing this is probably going to get my, my account and my Switch bricked and banned and all that stuff. But this needs to be known, okay? This needs to be known. And what his message said, he used, he used four names, right? Four spots on the leaderboards to make up the message that said, please add anti-cheat okay so this isn't just a this isn't just a problem with mario kart and i think the thing with mario kart is that it's so subtle that that maybe nobody's really picking it up you know i don't know maybe it's sliding under their the the radar i wasn't even all that aware of cheating in splatoon 2 but i do know after doing a little bit of research that splatoon 1 had it was bad it was bad, and and apparently there are there are people cheating in Splatoon 2 as well. I don't know what the cheats involve. I don't I don't play rank X, so you know I'm not uh, I'm not up there. But I can tell you this: I've played online games for a long time, and when people cheat, I don't. There's it is so frustrating. It is so frustrating. I used to play Halo 2 all the time. Once they added DLC for that. People would mod their Xbox and literally fire the train out of their rocket launcher. Or you would just spawn with a sniper bullet in your head. I'm not sure who was having fun at that point, but I know it wasn't me. So, it's not fun. And if you're cheating, please stop. Please. Interesting way to get a hold of Nintendo. Interesting way to, uh, you know, say, hey... Please add anti-cheat. It needs to be looked at. It needs to be addressed. And something needs to be done. They seem to be, you know, very on top of, you know, when these all this homebrew stuff and that kind of stuff. But 
let's uh for your for the for the sake of the player experience, let's get these cheaters out of here so that the rest of us can enjoy the game. Please, please. So, you know, the Reddit, I mean, if you want to see like a lot of salt, go ahead and check out the Reddit post where he, where he put it up a few people. I think somebody gave him gold on Reddit. A lot of people were like, you're part of the problem. At the end of the day, he's like, look, I just want like, I'm sure this is going to get, my thing's going to get bricked, but I want the message to be seen. So I think uh, I think it was sent pretty pretty loud and clear. All right. Well, that is going to do it for this NPC mini episode 110. Guys, you can follow me on Twitter at n64josh. Okay. You can follow uh, the show, the NPC at npowercast. Don't forget your boy. You can follow him at hate zero. That's zero with an X. All right. The show notes for this episode are at n64josh.com slash NPC. If you want to email the show, maybe get to, uh, you know, have a, have a question, comment, concern, NPC at n64josh.com. Get yourself a free book from audible by going to audibletrial.com slash NPC. Check out uh, console wars. It's good stuff. Remember, the chair I'm sitting in is from OPC. Go to n64josh.com slash OPC to save yourself $10 automatically at checkout. And remember, all chairs are $50 off right now, and all desks are $100 off. Guys, I have a Patreon. If you'd like to get yourself an extra podcast and help support this show financially, I, one, greatly appreciate it. Thank you to everybody that does already. I, I, I can't say thank you enough. And uh, yeah, you get an extra show each month. Dollar gets you just a regular audio show. Five dollars gets you the video um, version of that show. It's patreon.com slash n64josh. Um, I do have t-shirts and, you know, NPC merch. If you go to n64josh.com slash store, you can check it out there. The Discord. Guys, hey, come hang out in our Discord. Talk Nintendo talk about life it is a good time it is is friendly and welcoming i don't care what the uh one of the latest reviews on itunes says i was <laughs> whatever i had to I, i'm gonna protect those in my chat and if things look like they're being insulted i'm gonna i'm gonna i'm gonna put the kibosh on it immediately so um it is a very safe and fun place to hang out and you got to come join us. It's n64josh.com slash discord. Lastly, if you have a second, rate and review on iTunes. I would greatly, greatly appreciate that. And uh, guys that are here live, thank you so much. Henny, Nate the Anarchist, Damian Nash, Mr. Cool Red Luigi, Kirby Geek, Run Jump Stomp, the host of the Switchcraft. Go check that out on iTunes if you're not, if you haven't listened to it yet. Nightcrawler, he's from the Smash Bros. cast. That's another show we do tomorrow. 2 o'clock, live on Twitch. Snake Eyes, Mr. Bungle, anybody else that I missed, thank you guys. Appreciate you. And uh, we, will, we will see you guys in the next episode. Later. <laughs>